Hey beer fans, Epic Beer Dude here. We're in the beer room. Um, we got three different carboys, uh, just maturing and clarifying. We got one being a, a double American Double IPA being dry hopped right now, and a porter and a milk stout. Just letting those mature a little bit before I keg them. Um, but anyways, we're here uh, to bring another unique beer um, to you guys. It is part of Dogfish Head Brewery. Brewery's ancient ale series called the Obrama. Dogfish head Obrama. Don't know how well you can see that. Um, <clears throat> this is a 750 bottle, again, part of their ancient ale series. The kind of history behind this is um, they got with a molecular archaeologist, and um, it's based on uh, pottery fragments. Um, found in the Aztec and Mayan regions of Honduras where they um, where they discovered their first signs of chocolate um, an alcoholic chocolate beverage for human consumption so it kind of rewrote history with that finding um, kind of dating back 500 years before they initially thought that um, chocolate was used in an alcoholic beverage um, and consumed by humans um, the Obrama means food for gods, so it's appropriate that I'm drinking it. 9% yeah. uh, alcohol by volume. It's an ale brewed with uh, natural flavors, honey, cocoa nibs, which is the inside of the cocoa bean before it's ground up to make chocolate, uh, cocoa powder, ancho chilies, probably give it a little bit of kick, and ground annatto. Um, so I think the ground annatto or ground annatto seeds a flavorful um, uh, tree seed, okay? And um, so this is kind of a, I guess a chocolate beer, but I hear it's a lot lighter and uh, looks a lot different than you would think a chocolate beer would, would look. So that is the history behind this brew. It is a... Um, I think the last time it came out was 2008, so if you can get it on the shelves, um, if you see it on the shelves now, grab some, because you won't be able to get it after, I think, August or something like that. Um, cheapest bottle opener in the world here. Okay. My oversized wine glass, and give this thing a pour. A little smoke off the glass. Now that's pouring really light for a chocolate beer. Give it a little bit, bit of room. Yeah. Dogfish head overall. Okay, so we got a little bit of haziness, actually a lot more carbonation than I would think to come off a chocolate beer. It's coming off the sides of the glass. Um, and, oh, up the middle. Um, going pretty nuts. And I poured it really aggressive, so we've got about you know a half finger head here. No, no real lacing. It's not. It's not really hanging on to anything. Let's give it a. Uh, let's give it a nose. It's got a really kind of humid, earthy, rainforesty smell to it. It's. I mean. There's, they're talking about the, the Mayan and Aztec regions, um, and it kind of smells like the jungle a little bit, real earthy in a good way. Um, get a little bit of honey, and just that earthiness that just reminiscent of like really thick humidity, um, and that's what I'm getting from the nose there. All right, let's give this thing a whirl. So now what I expected, it actually, I was expecting from the chocolate beer, from um, just this being announced as a chocolate beer, I, I was expecting like a sweet, uh, a sweet kind of, um, like a bittersweet chocolate um, taste, but I just get more of like, like a mocha, cocoa powder, um, like if you open up a jar of, of just powdered chocolate and then you 
he kind of shook it around and and, and just the, the smoke came up um, from the grind a little bit and it just it's it's real subtle it's really subdued it's not sweet at all even if you licked your finger and you put it in a, in a some cocoa powder and, and you licked it it's not sweet it's it's that kind of, of taste that you get right out of the front end Little bit of bitterness on the back, um, and then you get just a just a really tangy spice. Um, I don't, I don't. I guess that's the ancho chili. I don't really get a whole lot of kick from that spice. And then on the very back, there's even some just some citrusy tropical uh, notes in there. So chocolate spice on the on the finish and then some some tropical notes to just as an aftertaste uh it's a pretty good beer pretty unique first time i've had anything like this and i i think my last review was on the the japanese green tea ipa and that was really unique too so um cheers to unique beers coming out and breweries kind of doing their own thing and and, and doing things out of the ordinary that's really cool um if you're a beer geek you gotta check this out, uh, try it out, and get it now while it's while it's available because it's not gonna last very long. Everyone's everyone that I know is picking it up and texting me and saying, "Hey, you know, texting me pictures and stuff and saying, hey, you gotta grab this." So I got the last bout, bottle that was at Bevmo, um, the 750 that I'm gonna finish by myself. Nine percent ABV. Dogfish head the Obrama. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually give this one a solid A. This is this is a really good, um, unique ale, and I really like it. Uh, I highly recommend this. You guys try it out if you guys have had it. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. Cheers.